What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to line up a four color job and we're gonna see how quick we can do this. Uh, a lot of screen printers will use a pre-registration system. If you do have a direct to screen with the registration palette, that is hands down the best way to go. But if you're looking for a quick way to line up a four color job, uh, we're gonna show you how we do that here. All right, so the first step is going to be your transparency. It does not matter which one you use as long as you have your registration marks on them. Uh, we set this up in the center of just one palette. Do all of this before adding inks and flood bars. Um, we're just gonna use the registration marks in the screen. Uh, we'll be able to see the transparency underneath and we can quickly line those up and we'll actually do um, all four stations. And before we started, we did tape up everything, um, so it is good to go. And after we get them loaded, we will do a quick test print. We're gonna start by setting these uh, in front of each station that we're going to print with. Uh, you can go darkest to lightest, you can go smallest to biggest. It's kind of up to you. All right, let's start the timer. seconds all right so next we're gonna load these screens with ink run our first test print and see how close our registration is if we need to make any adjustments we'll go ahead and do that and then we'll be set for production all right so I've gone ahead loaded up all the screens um, with ink and we are gonna do our first test print all right so we're gonna go ahead and do our first print and we left the ink basically in the middle of each screen just so you could see that this is truly the first pass on each head. So we're gonna start with this, then we're gonna flash in between each uh, so we don't get any buildup on the back of the screen so that if we do have to make adjustments, the color does not bleed onto the shirt um, from being on the back of the other screen. So we'll go ahead and get started. So, not bad. Um, the only thing we wanna do is when you're looking at the registration marks, you can see there's just a slight on the light blue needs to move. So you can see we just need to make a few fine adjustments. Um, that's super easy on the rock. Uh, gives you a grid, shows you everything you need to move. But now we have our colors in place in the order we want to print. And so we'll tweak that. We'll do one more test print, show you the result, and then we'll be ready for production. All right, so you can see here on our first test print, the gap there um, was not consistent. Um, but other than that, in this color right here, 
is the same one that is right there. So we could see that that screen was out of line. We could also see that by the registration marks. Um, so you come down, look at the new one, and it is good to go. You can see um, a hairline on the green, so we can tweak that. Um, however, it is not actually butting up against anything. Um, so we will still make that little adjustment. But yeah, so we are good to go on press. I hope this tip helped you guys out. It's a quick, inexpensive way to go about registering your screens. Um, it's a lot easier to do it by without any ink on the screen, being able to see through to the transparency because the first time you make that first test print, you can't see through your registration marks again. So you are going to either have to A, clean the screen on the registration marks or continue to print, adjust, print, adjust. So this eliminates a lot of that, gets you really close and then you can fine tune adjust it. So that's our tip for four colors, registering about three minutes to get it set up three to five and then just some minor adjustments a couple minutes later you're good to go all right so that's gonna wrap it up for tonight we got everything boxed up ready to go We'll see you guys next time.